Hello and hi everybody, welcome back to another one of this time. We are here with part two of Bowser Jr.'s first grade. So in part one, that was just simply the introduction of the series. We met some of the students. We had a, a teacher that broke his hip, probably died, <laughs> and he kept shitting himself. So yeah, we're gonna get a brand new teacher in this, in this part, and I know who that teacher's gonna be, and we'll find out who it is so prepare yourselves you already see my facial expression you already know who it is because yeah i've seen this series a long fucking time ago so i already know who it's gonna be so yeah um anyways guys uh before we get into this if you haven't yet checked out the video the link to it will be in the description down below be sure to go check it out if you haven't yet already so with that being said let's just get into this uh, why is homework have to be so boring? Oh yeah, they got homework on the first day. On Dr. Seuss. Oh, Dr. And Seuss. all I got so far is this stupid butt face. He isn't a real doctor, and he likes cats. <gasps> With hats. With hats. There you go. That's uh, a rhyme. Do it. Uh, you know, uh, this is a pretty, uh, pretty strong essay. Didn't I get you one of a thousand word essay? That's like more of like a 20 word essay. I think I'm gonna ace this. Um, more like an S plus. So, uh, yeah, let's get that off my bed. <laughs> and I think it's time to go to sleep for another sucky day of school tomorrow. Mm. Uh, good night, everybody. For some reason, I say that. Good night, everybody, before I go to sleep. Oh, Junior. Junior. Junior! My tooth's under my pillow. My tooth's under my pillow? I got something to wake you up. Oh, you're gonna smack him with a notebook. One, two, three. Oh, what? What? What's wrong, Chef Baby? It's time to go to school. Time to go to school. school again. Oh, get in the car. Come on. Time to go to school. Oh, you're my homework. Chef Baby, Chef Baby. What do you want now? to bring something for lunch today so um what am i gonna bring for lunch you gotta make me a lunch to take to school i don't know uh i'll pick up a lunchable how about that a oh, lunchable, lunchable. Oh, don't make a big deal about it just shut up <laughs> okay lunchables are good later at school uh, another horrible day of school but at least i did my homework mm. it's a big accomplishment uh, doing a homework assignment homework. i actually did it uh, Second day of school. This sucks. I know, dude, but it's okay, because I brought gum. Gum. You bring gum you? Yes, it's fine. Joseph, do you not remember what happened in summer school when you brought gum? Did you not learn your lesson from that? As soon as you pull out that uh, that pack of gum, everybody is going to bomb rush you to it. The gum, too. It's like the best gum give me, ever. Give me a piece. I don't, I don't think we're supposed to have kind of class, you guys. Stop being a dweeb, Cody. Oh, Cody. oh my God, Cody, 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 Cody shut up. Dude, don't be the pack. Don't be the pack. All right, all right. One piece, though, okay? Uh, I think we'll One piece. Okay, go. I got it. I know teachers get pissed off when students have gum in class, and I'm pretty sure the reason why is because there's always those kind of students that when they're done chewing their gum, instead of them throwing it in the trash, they stick it under the desk, which I can understand why teachers hate that, but... Most of the time, they're just like, don't chew gum at all. <laughs> and I'm just like, damn, can I not chew on something? Like, I want my breath to be fresh. And I can understand why, because there's always those kids that always stick gum under the fucking desk. And I'm just like, motherfucker, why? Are you that lazy to get up, go to the trash can, just throw it in there or spit it out? I, I don't know. I just don't fucking know. Got it! I'll take that. Oh, no, 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 class, kids. there's the new teacher. I don't know, dude, but he took my gum. There he is. Stupid. I wanted a piece. Some of you might know him. Two dollars for that gum. Oh, I'm gonna get this Two dollars for a pack of gum. All right, class. I'm the new teacher. My name is Mr. Winkle. Oh, I'm gonna write that on the oh, board. Oh no. Okay, I'll spell it out. Mr. L Winkle. R for Mr. And then W I N K. <laughs> L and E for Winkle. It spells a Winkle, you know, like when you go to the bathroom, you take a Winkle. This guy is such a dweeb, Josie. <sighs> and if he doesn't give me my gum, I'm a Winkle in his face. <laughs> I'm a Winkle in his face. Winkle. All right, I'm seeing a lot of a lot of bright, shiny faces here today. That's that's hot. Yeah, that's that's pretty hot. God yeah, damn it! Especially you right there with the, the crazy hair. I like that. That's that's hot. Yeah, <laughs> look, looking good. Me? 
So this was Mr. Winkle's first appearance and it's definitely not a good one. It's definitely not a good one. Some of you guys might know Mr. Winkle as the fucking creepy pedophile. Yes, he's a pedophile. I know him. I seen him in the videos. I know for a fact as soon as I see him, it's not good. All right, glass. So uh, to get started, I'm gonna tell you a little something about myself. Uh, I'm from Kentucky, born and raised. Yeah, not, not the chicken place. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> little little joke for myself there. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, I am also, and this is important, a convicted sex offender. Now, I know you don't know what that means. That's okay. That's good. That's good. You don't know what that means. Why the hell so, would you uh, tell I'm that to give kids? You some papers at the end of class, and you just show them to your parents. Give them Imagine your kid comes home from school, and you're like, uh, you as a parent, you're like, how's your day going? And then they're like, cool. It was cool. We got to do tea. Teacher. He said he's a registered sex offender. They'll be like, what the fuck did I just hear? Sign them, tell them it's a, it's a field trip or something, right? Just get, just get them to sign it when they're half asleep. It's, 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 it's fine. Don't worry what? about it. Don't, don't worry about what that means. Huh? Oh, well, my uncle's a sex offender. Uh, Wait, what does that mean? Oh, it's, um, it, it, it's not good. Oh, I have allergies anyway. What? Okay, kids, so what does that have to do with it? Something about me. Uh, I'd like to get to know you guys a little bit better. So uh, we're gonna play a little game. It's called Duck Duck Goose. But but we'll, the way I play it, whenever whenever you're the goose, you tell me just just some information about yourself. You know your uh, your shoe size, your height, your address, your social security number, your phone number. Uh, just general information. That's, that's not general information. Uh, about senior, kids. We don't have social security number. I'm illegal immigrant. Ooh, muy caliente. Well, yeah, that's hot. That's hot. Wait, what did he say? Well, anyway. Ooh, muy caliente. Well, yeah. Muy caliente. That means very hot. Oh my god. Even in Spanish, I knew what that was. <laughs> Fucking. <sighs> That's hot. That's hot. Yeah. My well, god. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna start on this side of the class, okay? Damn. All right. Duh. Goose! Goose! You're a goose! Yeah, well, wait, what does that mean? Well, if you're a goose, that means you, uh, you have to, you have to tell everyone your name and some things about yourself. Oh, well, my name is Zelda, and I'm a princess, and I'm spoiled, and that's I don't really spoiled. want to be here, you know? Oh, that, that's odd. Oh my god, yeah, shut up! Shut Maybe after class. That's pretty hot, dude. Oh my- Oh man, she is hot. Uh, hey Zelda! What? Oh, you're so pretty. I hope one day you're kidnapped and I have a whole video game franchise about you. That, that's weird. You're weird. Go away. <laughs> uh, hey! I can't stand Mr. Winkle, oh. honestly. I hate pedophiles. I absolutely goose. hate them. You're a goose. Mm, like your hair. What a kind of condition. Why the hell are you rubbing uh, his hair? I don't know. Uh, my name is Patrick and I'm getting cookies for breakfast. No, you don't, Patrick. Mom doesn't let you eat cookies for breakfast. Is, uh, is that your sister there? Uh, yeah, it's my sister Emily, and she's a jerk. <laughs> she's, a, she's pretty hot. Why the fuck? Oh, all right, class. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> hey. Goose. You're a goose, little girl. Ah, uh, hello. Oh, goose, little girl. Tell everyone about yourself. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, my name is Tony. Nice. What's up? Shut up! Damn! Damn. Oh, she's got me sweating. I need a chick like that in my life. Isn't that his? Oh, isn't that her like, like your sister, your, your cousin, or something? No, dude. <laughs> There's many of toes and toes ass in the world. What? So the the, 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 the the other toe that was in the summer school series? That's not his. Uh, I, I don't know. All right, class. Well, I'm um, sorry we didn't get to everyone today, but uh, I think we learned a little bit about each other. <laughs> That's hot. Oh my right, God. So uh, we're going to actually learn something today. And, uh, uh, oh, oh, sorry, Glenn, that That's the lunch bell. That means you guys get to go to lunch. See you in a little bit. If anybody has any questions, just, you know, meet me in the bathroom. Oh, right, Why? lunch. Let's Whoa! go to lunch, everybody. Whoa. Uh, come on, Cody. Uh, let's get the booth. Yeah, yes, the booth is for cool kids. Okay, now where's Joseph and Toad? Oh, oh, they're, they're outside playing basketball. They're not going to eat lunch? Uh, no, they said they were too cool. Wow. So they're not going to eat? It's just going to be me and you for lunch? Yeah, isn't it great? Just us. Uh, oh, now when you're... With some of the other kids. <laughs> it's going to be boring. Um, well, anyway, it's going to be I weird as well because of the shit Cody says. Baby got it for me. Um, wait, wait, where's your wait, lunch? Let me see the well, lunch. Anyway. Oh, that's a cool lunchable. 
I remember when I was in like fourth grade, fourth grade, yeah, I used to bring like these Lunchables to lunch and I got, and I would bring like those pepperoni pizza ones. Man, just thinking about that just brings me back. I miss those good old days. I miss them so much. So I didn't have this exact Lunchable, but I had the, the one with the pepperoni on it. This one has an airhead in it. Man, mine didn't have that. I think all I had was just the dough, the cheese, the sauce. I never used the sauce because it was cold. I hate it. And then the pepperoni. And that was it. I don't know what else was supposed to be in it. I don't remember. I got a pizza lunch. A boy, Chef Baby got it for me. Oh, wait, wait, where's your lunch, Cody? Oh, oh, I have to go get it from the lunch line. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Let's see what I they're selling at this school. I'm so hungry. Oh, God. That was mom. Lunch, man? Pizza. Pizza? Oh, okay, that's how we do it. Please. Then why the oh, fuck are you selling? Uh, why the hell would you say you're selling it? Eat, then? Uh, hold on. Oh, oh, I got this one for you. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, they, they can't get any uh, in the back? Oh, oh shit. Um, uh, oh, this big bastard. That's a big can of rabbit uh, only. It's just boiled tea. It's just boiled tea. It's, 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 it's a tub of ravioli. A tub of ravioli. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I just, it looks, looks kind of heavy. Uh, okay, well, Why the hell would you give that to oh, a student? Okay. Uh, th thank, thank you, man. Oh my god, that must be, that must be a pain to balance out on the train. Deserve. Sardine? A four. Do I, do I get a can opener? Yeah. For the, for the ravioli? No. Oh. So that's a jazz now. Uh, what? Thank you, uh, thank you, man. No uh, pizza? Come on, I want pizza. I'm making pizza in my lunchable. Okay, let me add the red sauce. Yeah, yeah. Oh my oh, god. Wait, come on, Cody, what is all this? Uh, this, this that's is, a this weird lunch. lunch yes. what, what is that? That? Oh, those are sardines. Mm. They smell terrible. Yeah, they do that. That's uh, fish. What, what is that? That's huge. Yeah, that that uh, that's a tub of ravioli. Why? What? Why are they giving that to you? You can't eat all that. No. I, mean, I wouldn't eat all that. What, what, what is that? Oh, that's my Metamucil. My mom packed that. Oh, for his me. medication. Oh. What does that do? Oh, that that just helps me poop. Oh. Okay. okay. Well, have fun with have fun <laughs> with that lunch. I thought they were serving pizza. Uh, they were, and then they ran out. So. Oh. Well, I have pizza. Yeah, that looks. That looks good. You they didn't have like an alternative meal because in my school, like if you didn't like the the main meal they had, that you could always get an alternative like a salad or just those like little bags with like um just like fruit, vegetables, and a, some chips in it. Like they didn't have that in the school. Just pizza, and then they just ran out and they're just getting giving him what's in like the back storage room. You want to trade? Uh -oh. I'll, I'll give you my sardines for that airhead over there. Uh, no, hey, I'm eating that no, airhead. Just, no. just no. I I like airheads and. That doesn't look good. I don't know how. I don't know what the hell that is. What does sardines even taste like? I never tried that. I think I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Well, well, can I have some of your ravioli? Okay, if you can open it. Yeah, how the hell are you gonna open it with no can opener? Yeah, um, I'm not gonna take any. I'm just gonna eat my pizza. Oh my god. Hi. No, no, no. That was a good lunch. That's the best lunchable ever. Wait, wait, where's Cody, guys? I don't know. I had to see. I forgot he was in the bathroom. Cody? C Cody, are you okay? No. I don't. I don't really want to talk about it, guys. Oh. Uh, uh, Did the okay, teacher okay, molest him? Stupid. He must be sick. All right, class. I hope you had a good lunch. <laughs> I know I did. Oh. Uh, so I found this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna use this to point at you guys, like like you and you over there. <laughs> yeah, that's hot. Oh okay, my God! Shut up. Learn our ABCs now. All right, class. Time to learn our ABCs <laughs> all together now. A is for a lamb. B is for basketball. I'm gonna do my own ABC. A is for asshole. B is for big bitch. C is for <laughs> C is for camera. D is for dancing dinosaur. E is for chicken. F is for fan. I think it's supposed to be G a is for for goddamn. What is that? <laughs> a groundhog. H is for dog. I what? is for pig. What? J is for jump rope. Why is there an I? Why is there a pig for I? What is that supposed to be? K is for it's, for, it's for camera again. <laughs> L is for lion. M is for monkey. N is for nest. Nest. O is always for op, 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 operation. Operation. I, I guess. P, P is for popcorn. 
And Q is for quack, or quail, or duck. Quail. All right. R is for raking robot. Okay. S is for sizzle and sausage. T is for timer. U is for boat. What? V is for vacuum. What the fuck? W is for washing. X is for my ex who left me. There's, they're going out the door right there. I wonder y why. Is for yak. And yak. Z is what I did in the bathroom during lunch. Oh my god. Alright, class, so those are your ABCs. You remember those because there's going to be a test tomorrow. Alright? So, uh, I think that about covers it. I think that's it for today. Oh, I do have to assign homework. So, uh, you, you, and you bring me your underwear tomorrow for a science experiment. What? Um, what about the homework for the rest of us? My god, Cody, shut, shut up! Oh. Shut oh. up! Oh. Um, homework for the rest of you. No. Um, well, how about this? Add me on Facebook. All right, my name is David Winkle. We don't have Facebook. We're in first grade. What? Uh, we all have Facebook. Uh, Emily's just stupid. <laughs> Shut up, Junior. Hey, whoa, I will not have bullying in my classroom. Now, Emily, you switch places with Samantha over there. That's like the first and only good thing Mr. Winkle did is avoid bullying. Now he's got to avoid the pedophile shit. Finally. I didn't want to be by Junior anyway. No, my baby. I'll see you later, sweet tits. Junior, no. Uh, she is you not your baby. This is my seat now. Uh, fine. What's wrong with her? Is she like bipolar? Uh, Emily, you said all my yeah now. This is my day. <laughs> Oi, this mucho loco. Oh, hola, Emily. You're muy bonita. Muy bonita. Uh, no, you can't move my girlfriend. She's not your girlfriend, Junior. You're just oh. thinking that. There's Samantha now. Look at that head game. Hey, Samantha! What? Oh, hi, you're really pretty. I hate my life. Damn. Oh. Jesus. Okay, then. Well, all right. What if she's always like this? Situation out of the way. You kids go home and do that homework I told you to do. Uh, yes, another no, day down. No, that's not a homework assignment I'm going to do. Uh, no, I have to go to therapy. Oh, what about you, Joe? Oh, no. Too busy making my next mixtape. <laughs> what about you, Joseph? Uh, dude, I have basketball practice. Uh, I'll be just taking it. I'm surprised Cody is going to therapy all because of what the hell Mr. Winkle did. I thought he was going to fucking enjoy that. Maybe it was the first time a male did that damn in person. I don't know. Well, Junior's going to be alone today. What if I lose my girlfriend and none of my friends want to hang out? Yeah, it's hard. Even though she wasn't your girlfriend, Junior. Ah, uh, okay. Who was the weirdest teacher you have ever had in school? Weirdest teacher? I don't think I had a teacher I would consider weird. I don't think so. I always just consider teachers by good, bad, or okay. But a weird teacher? I don't think I always had a... I don't think I've ha ever had a weird teacher. Now, Mr. Winkle, he's beyond weird. He's beyond weird. Like, like someone, please arrest this dude. But yeah, I don't think I've ever had like a a weird teacher. I don't think I ever had a weird teacher. Hopefully going into senior year, I don't have a weird teacher. Hopefully all my teachers are good and I can I can um uh just have a good connection with them. Alright, that's it. So Yep, there is Mr. Winkle. That's the only downside of the first grade series. This guy's a fucking Mr. Winkle. Do they not do a background check? I, I know they're probably going to mention that in this series about background checks. Do they not run background checks to these teachers? Because, you know, the old man, or I like to call Mario's grandpa, but I don't know if he's always, like, every time the old man shows up, I don't know if he's supposedly considered Mario's grandpa unless Mario's there. I don't know. But... Did he just start the, the teaching job or was he supposedly already a teacher for a long time? Because if he just got the teacher job, how the fuck did they allow him to come in as a teacher? Did they not run a background check on him? I'm pretty sure that they not run a background check on this dude, Mr. Winkle. Then they'll probably see his criminal history. I don't know. 
don't fucking know. But anyways, guys, that was part two. I'll get to part three whenever I can. So, yeah. With that being said, if you enjoy this, be sure to give this video a like. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to do so right now. Turn on notifications to be notified for any video that I upload. And I'll catch you guys later in the next one whenever I start doing that. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys later. So, take care.